In this module, we'll continue discussing the basic terminology of statistics. It's not usually possible to study the whole population. Like, if we know the process, the government of Pakistan does the census, it usually happens after 10 years. There are a lot of reasons. It could take a lot of time. It takes a lot of resources in terms of managerial resources, money, and many other. Therefore, we rely on the samples. Samples are the true representative part of our population. And whenever we study a sample, we call such studies as a sample survey where subsets, samples are the subsets of our population. Our population is too large. Therefore, there are possibilities of taking multiple samples out of it. Let's take a sample one. There could be possibility of sample two, sample three, and sample four. Out of all these four samples which are observed for this population, Sample 1 is not a true representative part of our population because it contains all the population units or all the sampling units which are out of our population. It's like if we want to buy apples, we want to try apples. We don't try oranges and buy apples. Therefore, there's a possibility that we choose a sample 2. But in sample 2, there are still some population units some sample units which are not the part of our population. So sample 1 and sample 2 may not be the true representative parts of any population. Then it comes sample 3 and sample 4. Sample 3 and sample 4 both are from our population. Therefore, these both samples are true representatives of population. Since most of the time we, re we rely on the information that comes from the sample, Therefore, it's very important that the sample we choose should have some characteristics. A good sample has few characteristics, like it should have to be a representative sample. It should come from the population, as we discussed in our previous slide. Our sample should capture most of the variation from the population. Whenever we perform statistical methodologies, we actually try to hunt for these variations. And if our sample is good enough to give us the maximum information about the variations, that is considered to be a best sample. A good sample is also obtained by using a specific and appropriate sampling methodology. A good sample should focus on the objective. And lastly, it should be informative with minimum use of resources. Since we already discussed that it's nearly impossible to study the whole population, and the major reasons behind this are lack of resources, usage of a lot, lot of time, a lot of managerial skills, Therefore, since we rely on sample, our goal is to use minimum resources to capture most of the information from the population. Let's talk about a scenario when from the same population we get three representative samples, like S1, S2, and S3. Indeed, all these three samples are true representative parts of our population. But if I, I have to rate among these three that which sample is the best one, I would think of sample one because this is the larger sample. Our goal is to capture as much variation as we can from the population. And from here we can see that as we increase the sample, we are getting closer 
to the population. So larger sample always contains max maximum information about the population. But definitely there are certain constraints involved. So we always have to make a trade-off between our sample 1, sample 2, and sample 3. That if we want to go for a larger sample or a smaller sample, we have to decide all this at the beginning of our studies. Let's take a quick rundown. A population is a whole bunch of respondents. It's every individual of our interest. Out of these population, we take a sample. Sample is a true representative part of our population. The results coming from the population are called population parameters, and the results coming from the sample are called sample statistic. Where sample statistic are the estimates of the parameter. Sample statistic is any number that is obtained as a result of a statistical process on a sample. Sample statistic are random variables. Since we already know we can obtain multiple samples from the same population and every sample can contain different amount of information. Therefore, Every different sample will always give us a different statistic, possibly. These values are usually denoted by Latin letters. Like st sample standard deviation is denoted by S. And sample proportion is denoted by P. Sample mean is denoted by X bar. Thanks.